Today we're looking at a superhero film with familiar characters, great action, plenty of laughs, and nobody snaps his fingers and kills half the universe at the end. To be honest, I was nervous about reviewing this movie because at some point, Disney Pixar has got to lay an egg, right? And I didn't want to be the guy to give them a bad review. Luckily for me, I don't have to. Incredibles 2 is, in a word, incredible. See what I did there? It's incredible. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen a Pixar movie and I forget between films just how good the animation is. The range of emotion they're able to capture in their animation, uh, the humanity that the characters exhibit, really it's, it's more than even a lot of live action characters. What? Is this all vegetables? Who wanted all vegetables? I did. It was cool to see Elastigirl kind of take center stage in this one and Mr. Incredible had to play the at-home dad role. That was fun. Hello? Hey, honey. How are the kids? Everything's great. Wow. Is she having adolescence? Maybe a little cliche, but fun. He's in excellent health. I took my 12-year-old son Hayden to see it with me, and he really enjoyed it. And I'll tell you, if it can get him away from Fortnite, it's a pretty good movie. I can't steer it or stop it, and the Underminers escape. We'll have to stop it from- Bob, the monorail! The story is great. You see the twist coming, but you don't care. Does Incredibles 2 make the director's cut? Without question. It's been 14 years since the release of the first Incredibles. It was worth the wait. You will be great. I will be great. And you will too. We will both be great. Honestly, this is one of my favorite movies I've seen so far this summer. And it might be my favorite superhero movie of the summer. No offense, Marvel. Please invite me back. Combustion imminent? What does that mean? Ah! It means fire, Robert.